In our first community conversation today, we're joined by Dr. Paul Kunk, an oncologist at UVA Health. He's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much for being Thanks here for with having us. Me. Yes, happy to have you. And today we're talking a little bit about pancreatic cancer. What makes that cancer in particular so difficult and challenging to detect? Yeah, I think it has to do with how our anatomy and how we're built. So our pancreas lives behind our stomach, deep in our belly, and then moves over to the left side of our abdomen. Um, those, th that spot, because of that, things can get pretty big in that area and can get big until it presses on something or causes pain. And lots of things can cause belly pain, lots of things that are not cancer. Um, but I think things can get just so big that by the time that we find it, it's big enough that it's causing significant problems. Yeah, yeah. So are there certain groups of people that are at higher risk for pancreatic cancer? Yeah, there's, there's two people that we worry about the most in terms of risk for pancreas cancer. One is people with pancreatic cysts. And so some of those cysts are nothing of no concern. Some of those can be concerning and they can develop in time and turn, to a, and turn, turn into a cancer. The other group is uh, people with certain genetic predispositions. We think of lots of ones, but the most common one that we think about is BRCA mutation. Um, and people with a BRCA mutation are at risk for lots of different cancers, breast cancer being the most common thing that we worry about. But pancreas cancer is also on that list. Those people, people with pancreas cysts, people with a genetic predisposition should really be followed by a cancer program. We have those at UVA that is designed to follow patients in that, those both of those clinical contexts to make sure if they start to develop any issues, we get on those very quickly and treat them accordingly. Awesome. So it's good to know about those risk factors. Um, are there any kind of symptoms that people should be on the lookout for? Yeah, I think the, the two most common symptoms in terms of pancreas cancer would be abdominal pain. And again, lots of things can come and cause abdominal pain, most of those not being cancer, not in those most being pancreas cancer. Um, but the other thing that we worry about a lot is, is people that suddenly and very slowly start to develop yellowness or jaundice and that's just because the pancreas is in an area of our body that can get big enough and then start blocking up things and that blockage can cause the bilirubin in the bloodstream to start being elevated and people turn yellow people will notice that themselves in their eyes or so or a family member and then they'll see a physician that leads into other things that we eventually find some of those concerns yeah so that's when you want to see a doctor right Correct. away if that happens um are there any treatment options available for this kind so there are and that's what one of the things that we do uh, at uva i think the most by far the most effective thing is a surgery and that surgery is not to be done lightly. It's a big surgery. It cuts out lots of things in the abdomen, but it's very effective as a pancreas cancer surgery. Um, that's called a Whipple. It's not, again, done to be done lightly, but it can be very effective. That by itself is not the most effective thing that we can do. Medications really help cure a lot of people, and that's what I do as part of UVA, and that's my role as an academic cancer doctor is that I help people with medications, chemotherapy, and still chemotherapy is probably the most effective thing in this context, but I also help people with clinical trials, and clinical trials means lots of things to different people. What it means to us is it's combination of medications or brand new medications or trying to stimulate one's immune system to recognize and kill cancer cells. And I think that's really how we help more people with pancreas cancer, whether we're curing more people with pancreas cancer or letting people live longer with pancreas cancer. But that's what we strive to do at UVA. That's what I strive to do on a daily basis. And that's what we try to do with our community and all Virginians and people outside of Virginia. Yeah, well, thank you for all you do. And we always say how fortunate we are to have you all right here. So yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. it. Thank yes, you. Yes. Well, thanks for being here. We'll have you back soon. Sounds great. And back to you, Steve.